One of the biggest problems of the Chanel wallet and chain is that the straps are too long for most people, even for myself, and I'm 5'7". I'm going to teach you 19 different ways that you can wear the Chanel wallet and chain with different strap configurations and show you how you can adjust it to fit your height perfectly. You'll learn new and different ways to wear this bag that you've never thought of before. Let's get right into it. You can wear this as a single strap over your shoulder or as a crossbody. Even though I'm 5'7", it still looks too long on me. Wearing the strap by itself is much better suited to those taller than 5'7". I'm wearing it crossbody. I'm almost kneeing the bag every time I take a step. In order to shorten the strap, all you need to do is wrap a strap around the top flap of the Chanel. Once wrapped around, all you need to do is close it up and wear it like so. With this particular configuration, you can wear this over the shoulder or as a crossbody. This configuration is actually best suited to my height when you compare it to the regular strap. I find it really comfortable to wear it over the shoulder and crossbody this way. Next configuration I call the double strap. So all you need to do is twist the middle of the chain like this. Put the end of this loop at the top through the top flap of the Chanel bag. So it's simply just a double chain, which makes it even shorter. You can wear it just over the shoulder like this. You can also wear this in the crook of your arm or just hold it from the top. A simple variation on the double strap look is to open this and then readjust it so that one of the straps is a bit longer than the other. Then you can drop the shorter strap to the bottom and then use it by the long strap. So you can adjust this however you want, but it just creates a nice style where you have an extra little chain dangling at the front. This also helps shorten the length of the chain to whatever size that you want, and it's relatively secure. One more variation on this double strap look is to tuck this bottom shorter strap around the sides of the Chanel walk. Pull the straps tight slightly at the top just to tighten it a little bit. So what you end up with is a beautiful chain border all around the wallet on chain. I think this is a really elegant look and gives it a little bit of an extra detail around the sides. I'd love to know what you think of these strap configurations so far. Let me know your favorite way to wear this bag in the comment section down below. What you can also do is put a knot in the center of the chain for a different look. The way I like to do this is to flip my hand like this. As I turn this around my hand, flip my hand around, and then grab the chain with my fingers and pull it through. And then I like to steady it on my lap a little bit so the knot is then placed at the center right here. And what you can do is you can still wear this over the shoulder or can drop the long part and then just hold it like this. While I have not seen any issues in wearing it this way, I would make sure you don't fill the bag too much when using this method as it potentially might damage the straps when they're knotted together. You just need to make sure it's on a flat surface before you try to untie the knot, otherwise gravity will keep it together and it unties very easily, just like this. This is what I call the single strap with two loops across the top. Just take the strap and loop it across the top flap twice this time to shorten the strap. Now this is too short for anyone to wear crossbody, but you can easily wear this over the shoulder. You have these beautiful two chains, which really draws other people's attention to the hardware. have what I call a triple loop or a top handle configuration. So all you need to do is wrap it three times around the top flap of the bag and just leave it a little bit looser. And then so when you buckle it, you have a really cute top handle that has a lot of accents with the Chanel chains. This is my favorite way to wear it to formal events. I think it looks especially classy and elegant. What 
you could also do is drop one of the first loops that you made into the front and that just gives an extra little accent across the front of the bag if you want and you can still hold it by the other two strands across the top. Then the next configuration I called the side loops. You take the top of the single strap and then you lay it right in the middle of the bag so then you have two loops coming out of each side. So I love this because I think it's a really unique look and you can wear it really just in the crook of your arm. Or you can hold it from the top here. I get such a great sense of satisfaction when I'm able to maximize the use out of everything that I've purchased. I love sharing everything I learned about how to purchase the right items that fit your lifestyle that not only last, but you can use in so many different ways. If you wanna see more of this type of content, please subscribe and turn on your alerts for my weekly video. The next way to wear it is as a wristlet. So all you need to do is Put one of the loops through the other. If you already have one loop that's a little bit longer, then use that particular one and put it through the hole of the smaller loop. And then what you do is lightly pull on the longer loop. And then here you go. You have a wristlet. Just like any other wristlet bag, this one looks like it has one line across the front and another long line across the back. I think this is a really easy way of wearing it and holding on to it if you don't want to wear it over the shoulder. You can also tuck in the wristlet part of the bag if you want to hold it entirely as a clutch. Now another way you can wear it is kind of like a bracelet wristlet. So it depends on how thick your wrist is. For me, I can do, for example, three loops um, around my wrist. So what I'll do is I'll put my wrist at the edge here and then I will twist the top around my hand. And then here I end up with a bracelet with the Chanel chain and then hold very securely onto my bag. So again, this is another way of doing the wristlet, but just with more of a decorative bracelet piece. I rarely spend money on bracelets or watches because it often gets in the way when I work on my computer. So I think this is a great alternative when you're out and you want a little bit of jewelry on your wrist. If you've learned any new configurations and have gotten value out of this video, please let me know by clicking the like button. The way I like to configure these side loops is really easy. You just need to tie a knot and then bring the knot to the middle of the bag, like this. And then you essentially just put your hand through the two loops that you've created. And then I just like to hold this knot at the very top. So it's really cute this way you have a bracelet, but also have a double strap configuration here, where you can see the straps quite a bit. I use this essentially just to carry the bag at my side, just like a top handle bag. You can of course wear it as a clutch and tuck all the straps into the bag like this. Unfortunately this doesn't give you a lot of room to be able to fit many things within the bag itself but it's a very sleek and clean look if you would rather look a bit more understated without the chain straps on the outside. This is also the best configuration when you want to use it as a wallet during the day and tuck it in your work bag. You can always pull it out later and reconfigure it the way you want. Did you know that you could also configure your Chanel wallet on chain into a belt bag? It's actually really easy. There's actually many ways to do this. At the end, I will show you a product that'll help you change the length of your straps in any one of these different configurations. Let's start by opening it up again. And what you do is you cross the straps like this and with it facing outwards, you can put it on top and to around your waist area. And it totally depends on your waist size if this will work for you is that I would just take the strap and loop it across the top like this. You have a beautiful belt bag. You can see the chain all around with the Chanel walk at the front. And it's really easy to access all the things that you have inside. Belt bags are quite popular in modern streetwear, but can be a little bit finicky to style put together a couple different outfits that look really good with belt bags based on items that you probably already have in your closet. In case you need some inspiration, I've included the link to that on the top right and the description box below. You can also configure the belt bag even more by adding a separate accessory like my Chanel wallet right here, which I open the top and make this into one of these multi-bag belt straps. I would avoid 
avoid wearing this specific style when you're out traveling just because your wallet would be very easy to take when worn this way. Wearing it as a belt bag is really fun, especially if you're going for more streetwear vibe. But there are two things you really need to keep in mind. I am a size 26 waist, and depending on your waist size, it might not work for you. Secondly, when you configure your straps like this, this might cause some damage to this inside piping part of the bag, which you don't really want to do. So in my case, if I were to use that particular belt bag look, I wouldn't be filling this up completely. But I have another way that you can achieve this belt bag look by buying a really inexpensive accessory. I purchased these strap adjusters from Amazon so I can show you exactly how to configure your bag to be perfect for your exact size. I've included the link to this item in the description box below, and you can pick the best one that matches your hardware color. Just so you know, when I post these links to Amazon items, I always make sure I buy it first to make sure I take a look at the quality before I recommend it to you because you never know with some of the different Amazon sellers that are out there because of the prevalence of fake reviews. If by any chance I haven't tried the particular Amazon seller's product, I will definitely let you know in the description box below when I link you to it. As my Wallet on Chains hardware is gold, I'm going to be using these two gold strap adjusters. Just know that they are slightly different in coloration. One is slightly lighter and one is slightly darker, but I didn't think that was too big of a difference for me. So the first way that you can adjust the bag is just to shorten the strap by itself. First, you gotta open it. And the way you do that is you take the middle round part and you push it to the side so that it opens up. It should look like this when you start using it with an open part. This is where the one strap goes on one side, one strap goes on the other side, and then it closes. Pinch the straps like this so that you form a tip. Do you see that there's a little bit of an empty space here? I hope you can see that. And then you just need to push the adjuster through. And then you take the other side, you decide how short you want to shorten the strap. Based on that, you do the same thing and you find a hole in one of the metal loops and you push the strap adjuster through that hole. Again, on the other side. So each side holds a different side of the metal strap. And then the way you secure it is that you slide this metal thing in the middle and close it up. That's not too bad, right? To hide this loop, you can just rotate the strap around by pulling gently and tuck this right inside and no one would be the wiser. And here you go, you have a single strap Chanel walk that's adjusted for your height. experiment with the strap adjuster with any of the different configurations I gave you to adjust it to the exact strap height that you like. These strap adjusters are also made of plastic, not metal, so it won't scratch the metal of your particular purse. What about belt bags? So you can do the same thing for belt bags. So now let's try making the belt bag really easy. Step into the regular chain so that the chain is wrapped around your waist. Wrap the chain around the top flap once and secure the rest of the chain in a loop and tie it together with the strap adjuster. Make sure the belt is tight enough so it doesn't fall down while you walk. And you can either tuck it in or you can even leave it hanging because I think it's actually a cute little detail. And then finally, you can do a double chain act. Using two strap adjusters, loop the bag over your head, pull the excess part of the strap into a loop, and tie that together with one strap adjuster. Use the second strap adjuster to attach the end of that loop to another part of the belt bag. Voila, you have a double strap belt bag. The next step is to learn how to apply these strap configurations to different outfits and occasions, which is in this next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Two different goals.